Welcome to Smash on Blast. Now, I hope everyone is as excited as I am about custom movesets. The reason why is because it's going to help the game and the community as a whole. Let me explain. Now, when it comes to characters, uh, the characters will have a little bit more flavor and more moves to choose from, adding a little bit more uh, depth into the game, obviously. Now, when it comes to uh, a tier list, tier list is going to take a long time to even be determined. So all you guys who like the first day of the game, or the first week, or month, or year of the game, run into your computers, posting up the tier list, calm down, relax. Uh, another thing custom moves has do for the characters is that they'll show a little bit more or the players will have a lot more character loyalty because since characters are going to have up to like 12 different uh, B moves that's a lot of variety within one character so for you to master or for you to even pick a whole bunch of different characters might not even be in your benefit and this is good because everyone is probably just going to be the, you know have one character and we're going to see a lot more of the cast out of all smashes be played at, at the highest level possible now what custom movesets will do for tournaments it's either they'll make or break tournaments because it's going to force tournament holders to step their games up because Lately they haven't been. A lot of these tournament organizers have been having like staff members, but those staff members play the game and they become staff members. You can't do that this time around because when it came to Brawl, Magic M, these guys, they took so long to run these events and with the rules they had with those games, it took long. So imagine what custom movesets will do to tournaments. It's going to take a long time, so you need a staff member at each station to even get these matches rolling. It's going to take probably like two to three minutes just to get one match like to start. So what I think uh, would help the situation out is if they had a staff member there and the staff member will have like a timer, either they can use their phone or they can have an actual just timer device, a certain amount of time to pick their characters and custom movesets. If that time exhausts, they just stay with the character or custom movesets that they pick. Now, if the players are just following around each other's chips, players are probably going to have to start just blind picking, which you will need a staff member there anyway. So, staff members are a must now that we have custom movesets in tournaments. Um, and please, like I said, I repeat, I repeat, tournament staff members cannot compete. I repeat. Tournament staff members cannot compete. I'm not going to repeat myself again. Now, um, for the love of God, please, tournament host, stop it with this 10 more years of melee, 7 more years of brawl, 2 more years of Project Melee, because these games, they aren't going to um, help out the next game at all. You don't to take a look up now! to really get a hold of Smash 4 so everyone just needs to focus on one game and that's it and for you top players and whoever else is in the Smash Illuminati if you don't like custom movesets just learn to adapt I'm tired of you guys like oh you don't like the rules so you kind of try to change it to I guess benefit you guys it's not fair and it doesn't help the community grow. All it does is help your pockets grow. So the only way I think custom moves should be should be even like banned is if a particular move within the custom movesets in the character like freezes the game or cause some type of ridiculous glitch that people can't you know that makes the match like unplayable, then I can see you ban certain custom moves. But other than that you shouldn't be bad at it, especially year one. Look how long it took us um, in games like uh, Melee or Brawl to even crack the game or start banning things. It took us a long time, like close to three to four years, for people to even really start to truly play these games. In Melee, it took even longer than that. So, I mean, I honestly think games like Melee, people just need to put that game down for a bit. 
bitch. You're not done now! Because, I mean, the game is outdated, and we just really need to just focus on Smash 4. So, um, I think I said a little bit too much. I hear the uh, Melee Elite is coming, so, uh, yeah, I think I gotta get out of here.